Okay. Good morning and welcome again, I guess, to uh, another GIMP 2.8 tutorial. And this one's going to be using the red shingled building with a hose. And we're just going to apply some techniques to uh, see if we can get rid of uh, the window and maybe do some landscaping as well. Of course, the techniques I'm using, lots of different ways to do it. This is just one way. All right, so first of all, we need to open GIMP. There's GIMP, but let's let that open in the window. And then what we'll do is we'll pull in the uh, the shingled building file. So there's different ways that you can do that, and I'm kind of lazy. I could do file open, but I like to just uh, to drag and drop. So I'm going to drag and drop that in there. And then I'm going to choose my Windows mode, and I'll use single window, window mode so I can uh, make it look more like a single app. There we go. And basically what we're trying to do is we're going to uh, remove this window here. And we're going to duplicate these flowers down here and, and do some fancy things. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to uh, maybe work on this window here. So I like to always zoom in using my uh, navigation tool here. So we'll zoom in a little bit. And then I can drag that up and see the window that I'm trying to cover. And I'm going to use my rectangular selection tool. And I'm just going to grab an area. I'm going to try to grab this line up here and that line down there. So when I match up on this side, I can maybe uh, make it come a little bit closer to uh, covering the whole thing and matching up those lines. So I'm just going to draw a shape. And I'm going to draw a little bit more than what I need. And I'm going to try to just keep it right on those lines. I don't want to go all the way to the edge here, maybe right to there, and make that selection. So I've got that selection. The next thing that I will do is I will do an edit and a copy. And then I will do an edit and a paste as. And I'll paste it as a new layer. So if I go back to my layers, I should see that I have uh, another layer here. If you want to get rid of your selection, remember to always go up to Select None. All right, so I've got my selection up here. And I can see if I can try to, to line it up and see if I can make it uh, match. And I might have to zoom out a little bit so I can see where I'm working. And perfect. So let's go ahead and um, look at our layers again. And we should probably name this one here. It's good to, to, to name your layers so you don't get confused. So this is my, uh, I'll call this uh, shingle cover and hit enter. There we go. And then I can use my move tool. Make sure that you have the layer that you want to work on selected. Grab your move tool. And then I'm basically just going to try to line these lines up. and see what that looks like. And again, to get a little bit more accuracy, you can zoom in to see um, how that lined up. And that lined up pretty well. And if I don't want to see this yellow line and see what it looks like, uh, again, I can go into the uh, view and shut off the show layer boundary. And I might have to make a couple of adjustments here. I'm just going to try to pull this down just a little bit. Take a look at that. Maybe slide in a little bit more like that. And that's actually not too bad. Um, if I want to make some other adjustments, there are some other tools here. I can use um, my perspective tool or I can use a shear tool. And if I apply the shear tool to that layer, by clicking on it and pressing on here, I can pull up from the bottom here and maybe adjust adjust those lines just a little bit and then say go ahead and shear. And I don't like how that worked, so I'll just control Z that and um, Another technique that you can use is the cage transform one. 
and with the cage transform tool we can go ahead and select uh, an area so if I want to adjust the lines right here I can select that area complete my box and then I should be able to do a little bit of adjustment here see if I can get that better lined up and that looks a little bit better I think and I will take that see what that looks like yeah I didn't do the best of jobs I should probably go control Y and adjust that and try that one more time so again if I want to adjust um, this area like say for example right here I'll grab the cage transform I'll click maybe I'll try to pull it up from up all the way up from up here and see what we can do so I'll draw there all the way down to there over to here up to here and across there. Let me try that again. So let's see if we can't adjust that somewhat. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Hit your enter key when you're done. Yeah, that lines up nicely. All right, zoom back out here. And I think I actually like that. Now you can see that, uh, again, maybe we've got a little bit of color differentiation there, if that's even a word. Um, so if we want to, we can grab that layer again, and we can go in and do some adjustments with brightness and contrast. If you want to try to um, bring that down just a little bit, you can bring the contrast down to see if you can make it blend in and you can use these arrow keys to kind of dial that in a little bit more and you can adjust the brightness and darkness and if I go that low you can see how what that looks like or I can try to pop it a little bit more and make that blend in and actually that looks not too bad and if I look at that from here if someone said hey there used to be a window there I probably wouldn't know it looks like a construction guy might have fixed that for me so that's one simple cover-up of that of that window. The next thing that we can do is we can um, add some some flowers here. So I'm just going to create some balance over here. Someone said, "Hey, I wonder what that would look like if we added some more flowers over to this side." So we can go ahead and um, do some different things here. Um, we could grab a, a selection tool here. We could do a, a free select. We could even try to um, use our uh, use our scissors or intelligent scissors and see if that would work um, maybe today I'll I'll try and, and uh, use the uh, intelligent scissors just to see what kind of a result we'll get so again uh, I like to zoom in so we'll zoom in here and down on our flowers I'll grab my intelligent scissor tool here got my scissors I'll place a point here here and here and that one actually didn't go as well as I'd like it to, so I'm just going to... That's all right. Place a point here, back up here. And again, we don't have to be 100% perfect. So we're just completing all of these. And just going around here, just trying to stay to the edge. We can go in and do some cleaning up in a second. So I'm just uh, coming right around here and completing some some dots here and we'll see what this looks like I'm not going to be overly concerned down here because we're going to make do some some blending so I've got all that I'll come all the way over into uh, here and then again you have to remember that the dot you start on is the dot you finish on so I've got my notice that I've got my from my plus sign to my infinity symbol which means I've made my selection and completed it you need that infinity symbol click there complete it when you go back to the center you should see a circle 
and you can see the circle right there click to the center and you should see your selection and then what we can do is we can edit and copy that selection and then edit paste as a new layer so we've got a new layer we should be able to um, go up to our layers and see our new layers before I do <sighs> I made the cardinal mistake of look what I did I copied uh, my clipboard again because I was on the wrong layer ah, live and learn so I need to get rid of that layer so I'll select that layer and delete it and again following my own rules make sure you select the layer that you want to work on before you copy and paste I don't have to remake my selection um, so that, at least that's good I don't have to do any more work there let me retry that again edit copy and edit paste as new layer look at that hopefully this time that worked and I'll shut some stuff off to take a look I'll zoom back out and look I've got flowers up there now alright that's what I wanted the first time so I can turn my stuff back on and let's go ahead and see if we can grab our flowers now you notice you can't see your flowers so you might want to shut that cover off so you can see your flowers over here and we'll grab our uh, renaming tool double click on that and just say extra flowers there's our extra flowers hit enter and then what we'll do is we'll click here pull this layer down and move it to this corner now of course it's going to look a little bit squared off but what we can do is and again I like to always do a select none what we can do with that layer and make sure you have that layer selected is we can use our flip tool as we've used before so clicking on the flip tool and clicking on making sure I'm on that layer I can flip that set of flowers there and I don't even have to do much work to those I can just leave that just like it is uh, it seems to blend in nicely it looks like a different uh, set of flowers and I'm quite happy with my result so I can go ahead now and turn that layer back on so I can see what my finished product looks like and I can do a comparison here's what it looked like to begin with and now that we're finished here's what it looks like now without the window and the extra flowers again you can zoom in to see if there's any um, additional work that you might want to do normally what I might do is I might uh, use some transparency and try to blend this in but since we did a good job in the initial trimming um, we don't have to go and remove anything from the outside edge that just sits nicely against that background and I'm quite happy with that so let's zoom back out and let's go ahead and save this so again we save it in two ways we'll do a save as because we have multiple layers and uh, if you want to call this version one um, we can do that shingled building with hose uh, we can just say um, version one and go ahead and save that and then we can also for um, uh, email and, and client or manager purposes we can also export that so I'm going to export and I'm going to export to the same folder and I will um, export this one as well, it wants to go as a ping um, maybe what I want to call this one is uh, fixed version one and I'll kick it into that folder as a JPEG so there's my JPEG perfect perfect and I can export now if you don't want to overwrite or be careful about overwriting um, that file we can go back in um, here create another folder maybe put our original files in uh, an original folder and um, we can put our other files in there so I'm just going to slide my original file up in there and I will save this one right now so let's export that export um, that would have just overwritten my file that would have been terrible 
fixed underscore version one and I will export that at 100% export and that should be good so we've maintained the layers as an XCF so I can close that out and close that out I can come in here and again I'm going to move my files I should have done this in the first place I should have gotten my kept my original separate and then um, we can take a look at the finished product by clicking on the JPEG so I'm gonna open this up it'll open in the default uh, in your default graphics program and there is the finished product and it doesn't look absolutely terrible uh, there's a few other things that we could do to fix this up but I'm think I'm I'm fairly happy with that and I think I can stop there today alright thanks and this has been for multimedia and uh, remember you need to practice 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 have a great day